Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome to part eight of my Celebrity Gold Digger Challenge. So it's Sunday night, the baby's been sent to daycare, and it's time for the Starlight Accolades. Now, this is a reno of this lot, and I don't actually know where they're going to do the award ceremony. So this will be really interesting. We've got these amazing chairs and stuff. Look, these are super gold lined. I have downgraded the fame requirement just so that Michaela can actually get in. But I don't actually know where the ceremony is going to take place. Where are all the other celebrities? Is this seriously where we're doing the ceremony? Oh, okay. They just went for the nearest mic, I guess. All right, well, we'll sit at the bar. That's fine. So now, for those of you who maybe missed it or don't remember, we've, we're have we here to see whether Brendan gets an award for the... Hang on, let me just pause this. He wrote a book called Woohoo as Cardio, and he was nominated for an award. Now, some Sims only give 50%, but Octavia Bailey gives 110%. Every day, well deserving of the 110% Starlight Acolyte. Starlight Accolade? That's it. Starlight Accolade. I don't know why I said Acolyte. Anyway, so Octavia is here to collect her award, which is amazing. It's a shame I'm planning on breaking up her relationship with her husband, but that's okay. So I'm going to have Michaela. She's scoping the room out for celebrities. We've got. Alika, the host. Brendan's sitting at the piano. This is really not a great venue for the award ceremony itself. Ooh, Alexandra's here. Oh, Alexandria, she talks to me now, you guys. A little bit. Yeah, calm down, Luna. It's fine. I mean, Michaela's over here doing the same thing. Okay, well, I was in your house the other day. I'm your husband's girlfriend, but shush. Alexandria Cole won a Starlight Accolade. This will be proudly worn around the winner's neck as both a show of fame and a fashion statement. Really? I just She doesn't strike me as the sort who would wear it. That's all right. We compliment her appearance. You look amazing, darling. No? No. Okay, fine. We have Lewis Adamson. He's a B-lister. Christian Harp. He's another one I've got my eye on, I think. I think he's another one I've downloaded, actually. All right, who now? For such riveting writing and storytelling, Brendan Kelly won the Starlight Accolade for Best Book. If he accepts the award, you can find it in The Sims Household Inventory. Well, obviously, he's going to accept the award. No, is he? I'm busy. Yeah, Brendan, look at you. He's so proud of himself. Oh, my goodness. That I was inspired to write this book by my amazing wife, Michaela, and she really gets my heartbeat up, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Oh my god, Andrea, stop upstaging him. He's like, I don't even know where to go. It's fine. Yay, he got an award. All right, he's going to come over here, and he's, oh, he, oh, oh no. I was going to have him kiss Michaela, but if he does, Thorn will see. She's probably going to, like, Stop him. I don't know how. If Thorn sees, that would be bad, alright. Maybe they could just have a deep conversation. Or like... They love me! They really love me! Exclaimed Brittany Cho for winning a Starlight Accolade. See if I can introduce myself to this guy. Let's ask about his interests. Congratulations, Brandon! He's like, uh, where's my kiss? <laughs> All right, have we got a bartender now? We do. All right, we're gonna come over here and we're going to order. Does he need food? No, he's gonna order a drink. He's gonna order a drink for himself and his wife. The prices here are much more reasonable. A fizzy, fruity drink. She's over here having a bit of a chat to Louis, I believe, or Louis. L-U-I-S. How do you say that? Is that Louis or Louis? See, look, she's got interactions like kiss hands and compliment appearance with this guy and flirt. So she's got all these romantic interactions, but she doesn't have really... Oh, she's got some friendly interactions now. 
So there you go. Obviously, he also is viable. Thorn Bailey also got the 110% award. So obviously, you know, that's a thing. So he's feeling pretty pumped. He wants to be friendly to Michaela. I mean, you could try not sitting all the way over there. What do you reckon? Uh, let's compliment her style. So Thorn's over here accepting his award. I was really hoping the award ceremony would be here. Obviously, there's no microphone in there, which is a bit sad. There's like three in here. Yeah, she's talking about trash. Oh my god, that Britney Tro, she's trash. Who are all these fans who let them all in here? Maybe we could go upstairs, <laughs> like to the exclusive bit. Let's go up here. Ooh, this is really cool. It makes sparkles. All right, let's come up here, use the exclusive toilet. Can she get into this bit? It's currently set to three stars, so no, but I'm going to come up here. Let's. Uh-oh, Michaela seems to have had too many drinks. Become drunk in 19 minutes. How is he going? He is also about to become drunk. So that's great. <laughs> oh, he can't handle his drink. Oh, now he's feeling like he wants to vom. Okay, so that's great. Where did she go? Okay, she's up here. She does not feel like she wants to vom. So maybe she could come down here. Since he's, like, not feeling great. For the outstanding fashion achievement for wearing really tight pants that look really good and not constricting at all, but we hope you can still breathe, Holly Alto won a Starlight Award. Hooray, Holly! All right. Where did Thorn go? Did he leave? Is he like, I got my award, I'm out of here? This concludes tonight's award ceremony. Let's come over here and imply attraction to Alexandria. Because our hubby's not right here. No? Oh, now we're having a cry. Okay, I better get these sims home because they're a bit sloppy as it turns out. <laughs> That's fine. Let's take them home. So she does have to host this dinner party and then she needs to work on her relationship with Thorn. It's probably for the best that she didn't have a chance to interact with him, especially because she got drunk. Like, it just doesn't strike me as a great idea. Now, oh, there's paparazzi outside our house. He's going to come in here and throw up. She's feeling a bit green, but not too bad. So she's going to come up and while the baby's not too bad, she's going to come and have a quick nap. He's feeling, actually, he's feeling a bit better. Turns out the vomiting was just what he needed. So he's going to go straight to bed. Oh my God, is this really Brendan? You're like so hot. Thanks, Dina. Real classy. Married, thanks, actually. And she's like, uh huh, to me. All right, so she's gonna have a bit of a sleep. Where are you going? Oh my god, these two actually don't like to sleep in the same bed as each other. It's the thing I've noticed when I click on bed for both of them, they'll actually go to different bedrooms. Usually he'll go in here and she'll go in the other one. I find it really interesting. It's like, hmm. Maybe he does notice that there's something weird going on. All right, she almost made it through the night, so that's great. She's feeling sad, drunk. And obviously this is not a great life choice that she's making here. Uh, he's going to go get some food from downstairs. No, he's going to go get some food from downstairs, and then I'm going to have him come back in here and go to sleep in here. She's going to feed the baby. And then we're going to, like, give it some attention. I've been thinking about Michaela and her child because I was saying I don't think she's super maternal, and I think that that was probably true before she had the baby. But the thing is that her drive to, like, murder celebrities I doesn't 
preclude her being fiercely protective of her kid. But that being said, she's still very flighty and still very focused on doing the things that she wants to do. And I think she might be a bit absent, but it's not that she doesn't love her child. So she's, you know, definitely can hear me sort of like, yeah, what's the matter? Why are you still sad? Do you need your diaper changed? Oh, you do. Okay, hang on, hang on. Nothing better than a poopy diaper when you're feeling hungover. It's fine. All right, and then give him a cuddle. Give him a cuddle. All right, so she's going to come down here and also see what leftovers we have available. Here's a wedding cake that I made. My beautiful wedding cake. I should remove the topper off that and we can use it. She's going to come down here and grab a serving of the fish. Oh, we have a little certificate. I'm actually going to bin that because I feel like both of them are kind of conscious enough of their appearance that they would not eat the unnecessary calories after the fact. Also, the fact that they forgot to bring it and they got sidetracked, like, not great. So, yeah, it's like, well, the moment has passed. So she's going to do that. He's off back to bed. Oh, she's almost sobered up. Okay. Michaela seems to be calming down. Back to normal in four hours. wonder if she'd, like, try and hook up with Thorn. I feel like she might. You know. Oh, are you not feeling well, sweetie? Because she's still feeling kind of tipsy. Except he won't be... He won't be awake. So... Yeah. That may not work. I think he'll be asleep. We'll give it a shot. By the time she's cleaning the toilet, maybe not. Gross. Nothing says, let's go out and do something romantic like uh, cleaning a toilet right before. So I'm not sure where to invite him. Where should we go? I feel like we've done all these venues. Maybe we could go back to Studio PVP and... Like, she goes back to the club where the ceremony was after she's, like, taken Brendan home and gotten the baby settled and everything. I imagine she's actually not using daycare because it's saying that the baby's gone to daycare, but I actually think that she probably... Um, whoa, let's not be in that, okay? Uh, what is it hot? It is. Yeah, I think she would be using a nanny. That's what I'm imagining. And then I'm actually going to hire a nanny when I need to. Oh, she's feeling a bit hungover. I'm going to kiss his hands. Let's start with that. I don't actually know if there's a woohoo location here. I'm hoping that there is. Right in front of the paparazzi. Great idea. He's feeling embarrassed. Nope, now he's feeling flirty. All right. It didn't take long. Jeez, Thorn. I didn't know you were uh, quite so uh, willing to be persuaded let's kiss his neck and i want to kiss him passionately there's no kiss passionately option can i i know this propose was grayed out is that just because we're both married no it's because we don't have very high romance yeah i know akito see this is bad there we go passionate kiss that's all right she was pregnant. Isn't that our doctor? Kiara? No. No, she's paparazzi. What's the matter? You clearly have anger management problems and need to be murdered. Murdered in a most foul way. Is all I can say about that. Alright, we need to sit and talk to our date. So, maybe we could go here together. Because that'll at least get us away from the paps, which is good. Uh, it also means I can watch the entrance because I'm a little bit worried about Brendan turning up. I need to host that dinner party before I, you know, break his heart. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, no, you're meant to sit too. We're supposed to sit together. Come on. Thank you. All right. Can I flirt with him? Uh, no, we're supposed to be sitting and talking. Michaela, sit down. Oh my god. Musical chairs. So good. Alright, let's try again. 
Let's flirt with him. I know you can flirt sitting down. All right, joke with your date. Michaela, I'm starting to get mad. Let's tell him a dirty joke. I feel like he'd like that. Thorn has been very heavy on the uh, desire to woohoo. It has definitely come across to me that he wanted to woohoo woo from the start. Basically, he viewed her as a kind of very low-level celebrity wannabe who basically um, he thought was a bit easy, which is terrible. But, you know, that's where we are. So he basically thought, yep, if she wants to fling herself at me, I do not mind. So can I... Is there a woohoo convinced to leave spouse? See, I don't think this will work. I think their friendship might be too low. I'm tempted, but I'm not going to. All right. We're going to be enticing. I feel like I need to convince him to leave his spouse at the point where I've already killed the previous man. I kind of wanted them to woohoo. Uh, all right. I need to stop doing romantic interactions and start doing friendly. So I'm going to ask about his day. I'm not going to ask if he has kids because I've met the kid. I'm going to ask for Wonderland pill. This is a slice of life thing. I think it's like illegal drugs, party drugs, that kind of thing. Let's see. I'm going to brag about my possessions. You might think I'm a low-level celebrity, but living in a beautiful modern home. And you wouldn't believe it. And he's like, sure, sure. Can we have sex now? Fish for compliments. Look at me. You wouldn't know I just had a baby. My figures bounced back really, really well. And you look amazing in those pants. And he's like, well, would you like to see what I look like without them? Like I said, he's interested in one thing. He obviously thinks that is a thing that he will get from Michaela. He's not wrong. This venue does not appear to have a wiki location, though, which is quite surprising. I thought that it would. There's room in here for, like, a wardrobe, so maybe I'll have to uh, put get, find somewhere for the celebrities to leave their coats. I'll be back with you in a sec. So, Michaela is... Go well, I was actually going to choose something else. They're going to go make out in the closet. They're I discovered there's a pool upstairs. I scrolled right on past it earlier, which is amazing. So, I was going to have them go and take a swim. Because I think she's doing her damnedest to convince him that she's perfect for him. Oh my god, he has the fame walk. I hate it so much. This is why I turned it off for Brendan. So... She's like, yeah, I'm going over to the cupboard, just going to get my clothes that I left in there. And Thorn's sauntering up. Brittany is not giving them a second glance because she's a bit, you know, distracted by the TV and stuff. That's fine. So she's pulled him into the wardrobe for a little bit of happy fun time. Now, they're not actually woohooing. They're doing other things. And <laughs> probably best if we leave it at that. So, yeah, Michaela's doing her best to convince Thorne that she's vastly superior to his wife. That's not his wife, is it? No, it's good. And because we're not woohooing, it apparently doesn't draw a crowd the way woohooing does, so that's interesting. Yeah. So, who's, is that Nancy? It is. I love seeing Nancy Landgrab as a fan. I think that's hilarious. So, they've come in. She's, you know... <laughs> Okay, well, I really do have to get home. But, you know, have a great day, Thorn. Think of me. Think of me tonight. Yeah, so it's all a little bit trashy, not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't judge her. I don't judge this behaviour. What I judge is the lack of consent of all parties involved. So the fact that she's trying to ruin two marriages simultaneously and planning on murdering two separate men. That's the bit I judge. And I feel like that's okay. So it's not slut shaming. It's murder bot slut shaming. Oh my God, it's almost Dale's birthday. How even? How? All right. So I guess we'll go pay the bills. And I feel like this has been a pretty productive part. So he's over here browsing the internet. I mean, I get it, right? You get distracted. You sit down to 
do certain things, like do work or whatever, and then the internet is just there being all distracting. It does that. So I'm going to have him... Well, he's still working on getting his next promotion. She obviously doesn't need a promotion, but she's feeling very tired. So I'm going to have her clean up because, you know, she just spent some happy fun time with a man who is not her man, which is always a little bit awkward. No, no, go upstairs, sweetie. Come up here. Come up and use this one. She's going to have a nice, relaxing bath with rose petals because that's how she rolls. And she's planning in her mind what she's going to serve for her dinner party. So we all know how this story ends, <laughs> at least how I think it's going to end, how she intends for it to end. She's going to have a dinner party and then she's going to murder her husband. Sorry, Brendan. But, you know, I mean, I actually really like Brendan. Aside from the fact that he did cheat on her knowing she was with Vanessa, he probably rationalised that with some hyper-masculine rubbish. But aside from that, I think he's actually a good guy. He would be a good dad. He's romantic. He would actually be a good husband as well. But Michaela's not here for that. So she's contemplating what she's going to serve and she's thinking about how she's going to do it. So this is your chance. If you have any suggestions for how Brendan should be killed, he is athletic and the idea of trying to get him to overexert himself somehow is appealing but I don't actually know how he, easy that is to do for young adult sims I think they need to be probably elders I know you can cause elders to die by exertion uh, what? okay great so she's just reminding us all why she's here it's like yep I'm here for the murder <laughs> I don't know. I, anyway, on the subject of murder, I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Like whether she should, I think her cooking skills like level five now. She's probably too good for the puffer fish death because you really need to get that one in early when you can't cook. Uh, I think drowning possibly. She got him exhausted enough and then convinced him to go skinny dipping or something. I feel like that could work. Um, basically, she's led him around by his desire for the whole relationship in the same way she's now starting to do with Thorn. She's a very tactile kind of creature who's exploiting her looks to lure them in. So she could probably do that, I think. So that might be an option, but I'd be interested to hear what you think. So leave a comment, let me know. Uh, if you've enjoyed, like and subscribe, you know the drill, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.